all the gold to buy it. If you really think about it, working in a storehouse is as Bloody trading. It's time. I am. Come with me. Yes. Shoulder arms. Oh. 
It's I am Teach me what is Teach me to be a swordmaster. I expect you think you're a good swordsman. I wonder if you're good enough, though. I'm better than good. Ah, but I'm not talking about your ability. I'm talking about your attitude. All right, so how do I become a swordmaster? By always being superior to your opponent. Always. Whatever your opponent's move, you will already have anticipated and countered it. Easier said than done. A true swordsman knows no fear. He accepts death as part of doing battle. Free yourself from this and fear of death and your skills will be without limit. Don't be scared of dying, got it. Anything else? You must be driven by a will to excel always, at all times. Every fight is a test of your abilities, a challenge to be welcomed and overcome. Enemies will want to test themselves against you. Defeating them is always a true pleasure.
It's time to set. I am. The Isle of the Dead. Look at it. I think the crew are planning on hiding below deck till you get back. Then I'll go alone. Don't even think about dying on me. On the Isle of the Dead? Nah. And if you see my father, tell him I... I mean, ask him about the amulet. I will. Aren't you coming with me? Oh no. You must walk this path alone. My ancestors' resting place is here. One day I will join them, but not today. Go! Want to look around the island? No, my friend. I've cheated death too many times before. No further need to provoke him today. What do you think about this island? It's the underworld, isn't it? My thoughts exactly. We won't find the gargoyles hatching ground here. They'd never make any deals with the dead. Let's keep looking elsewhere. Nice ship, huh? Good ship! Big ship! That important to you? Big! Much space for dinghies! That's good, right? Granny Arno! Miss Miller! The hold's the nearest thing we've got to a cave. You can bunk down there. Fuck yes! No like here. Scary, scary place. Considering our chances, I don't blame you. Ew.
The living are not welcome here while they breathe. So this is the underworld? This is the gate, but not the entrance. So the real entrance is somewhere else? Yes. It lies at the sacred temple at the end of the gorge, beyond this gate. The altar of transition is there. You guard that too? That is guarded by the undead hordes. Undead. Sounds like fun. I doubt it. They guard the entrance jealously. This is the place their power is at its greatest. Ah, oh, great. So you're what, the guard? A guardian. In this world and the next. And a guide. I accompany the worthy into the underworld. Do you remember accompanying a Captain Steelbeard? I take many souls, but I do not recall that name. Would he be worthy? Damn right he is. I need to speak to him, to his spirit. And to see him? You are willing to fight your way through the undead? Absolutely. Like I said, he's worthy. You have not explained why. Because he is the only one who can help me stop Mara. Mara! That name is cursed. She sends so many restless souls here. And she'll send more if she's not stopped. She disturbs the peace of the dead. Perhaps there is a way. If you would help the restless find peace, I will let you pass. I don't understand. How are the undead different from the spirits in the underworld? The undead are stranded in the world of the living. They are soulless, wretched creatures. They attack all who approach. They cannot be saved. There are also souls stranded in the underworld, confused, but there is hope for them. They are the only ones who will hear you. The souls that have found peace are no longer able to hear you. What's it like, the underworld? As cold and as dark as your world is light and warm. It is a mirror, a dark mirror of this world. Words cannot describe it, but soon enough you will see it for yourself. So what about the sacred temple? It is the home of the Altar of Transition, where I give the rites of passage. From there, the worthy souls may enter the underworld. All right, what do I have to do? Die. You know, I think I changed my mind. It need not be a real death. A potion of false death will serve for me to accompany you. Lie on the altar in the sacred temple, then drink the potion. It will not be pleasant. Then I may take you to the other side. How can I get this potion of false death? I can make it for you. I will need six handfuls of grave dust and five black lotus flowers. That will be enough. I'll get them for you, if you tell me where they are. The best grave dust is in tombs, and a black lotus grows only on dead trees. I'll do it. Then I shall open the gate. But no, if you are killed by the undead, there is no salvation for you. I will await you in the temple. It is at the end of a large gorge. Good luck. Take this. It will aid you.
His speed with a dagger he always attributed to his parrot, claiming that the filthy creature always brought him luck in a fight. So much so, even after it died, he still carried one of its wings with him. Alas, his luck finally ran out on the southern beach of the Isle of Thieves. I already have the parrot wing.
I found all the ingredients. And you are still breathing? Very impressive. You are ready. I will lead you. Here, drink the potion and lie on the altar.
Hey, you're here too? I accompany the dead, even the falsely dead. Now you will explore the underworld. Find the four restless spirits. Help them find peace. This will show you the path to the Skull Scepter. The Skull Scepter is the only way to call the spirit of your friend. Bring it to me. I'll be at the portal at the beach. In this world. After so long, it is good to meet someone who still has living blood flowing through their veins. Wait, you're dead? Yes and no. For a thousand years I have been imprisoned here, trapped in this ghost form, cursed to dwell in the limbo between life and death. I can't imagine such an existence. Then you are lucky. No matter what you imagine, the reality is worse. How can the curse be broken? I misused the power of the Earth Amulet. So now I must make my own artifact. One that is stronger than death. What kind of artifact could do that? A skull scepter. It is powerful enough to call back the spirits of the dead. I need one of those myself. That is why you are here. If you bring me the materials, I will make one for you. How did this happen to you? A long time ago, I ruled the people of the Clan of the Winds. But then came the monster Mara with her hunger for power and human slaves. She gave me the Earth Amulet to enslave my people. I thought it was the only way to save them. But one day, we rose up against her. For this, I was cursed. What happened then? There were four of us, all Chakas. Matega from the Clan of Water, Akando from the Clan of Fire, Cusco from the Clan of the Earth, and me. Each of us had a powerful artifact. In the end, I was able to turn Mara to stone, but we could not destroy her. So now we are trapped in this limbo, waiting for deliverance. You were a Chaka, a chieftain. But you're a woman. It was not unusual for women to rule over the clans. Many clever and skillful Kiki became Chakas of their people, but after the Titan Wars, many things changed. What do you need to make the scepter? Several things. Not all of them easy to find. We'll see about that. My fate is entwined with that of the other spirits here. I need the trophy of a hunter, the spear of a warrior, and the spoils of a thief. And also, an item that belonged to the dead spirit you wish to call back. Talk to the spirits. They possess all these items. I'll see what I can do.
Life has returned. We feel his presence. Um, are you talking to me? Yes. No. You live, but bring no life. No half to fit our half. Bring warmth to our old bones. You sure it's not half your mind you lost? Our pain is too great to be hurt by words. Our body too far away. We see life where our body walks. Palms and pirates. People. Mara. Kai. A pirate? Not a pirate, he says. Lies. Is there anything I can do to help you? We are whole and apart. We are broken, but joined. So you're connected to your other half? We see through both eyes. Lucky you. What do you see? A ship. An evil man. One lies, the traitor dies, or the village dies. I'll see if I can find your other half. They don't see what the wind brings. Here's hoping it's your better half. The wind carries the call, leads us to life's shores. My prayers have been heard. At last you have come. Who do you pray to? To my ancestors. I have begged them to send someone to release me. And here you are. This is no chance encounter. This is fate. Will you help me? I can bear this torment no longer. What's up with you? Mara. She cursed me. I cannot die until someone steals something precious from me. You're waiting to be robbed? Many years ago, she gave me a powerful artifact. The thief's bone hand. But then I betrayed her and used the hand to disarm her. In return, she damned me, using something precious of mine against me. What was it? A rare white diamond, locked in a chest in my temple. Just open the chest, and the diamond is yours. You want me to steal from you? That's different. It is the only way to free my accursed soul. A diamond heist, huh? Yeah, I'm up for that. I have waited a thousand years. A few moments more will make no difference. So how do I open this chest of yours? The chest has no key, but there is still a way. A voodoo witch may be able to help you. That's handy. I beg you, I can wait no longer. The chest is open. Your soul is free. Once, I was eternally cursed. Now, I am forever indebted. Keep the diamond. It may yet be of use to you. My chains are lifted. The light awaits me. Fare thee well, noble stranger. Fare thee well.
You, the living, don't survive here. You came into the warrior's arena. You must fight. No chance we can just talk then? No, we fight. You came here. There are rules. Until I find my equal in battle here, there is no rest for me. You are here. Maybe it is fate that brings you. I challenge you. No one has ever beaten me, neither when I lived nor since I died. I think you want me to win. So why not just admit defeat and save yourself all this trouble? Nothing is as the living believe. I must find one with the strength not to make the mistakes I did. Then I shall be free again. You're cursed? Why? I did not finish what I started. What's that mean? There were four of us. We meant to kill the beast. You mean Mara? The beast from the sea, yes. I wounded her with my dagger, but it made no difference. We failed. I failed. Now I must suffer her curse. Could your dagger have killed her? Not alone. We each carried a weapon, a deadly titan artifact. Back then, so long ago, I was Chaka of the Temple of the Earth. I was the strongest Tonka. Mara favored me and gave me her sacrificial knife. But we betrayed her. But we were weak. We let her live when we could have destroyed her. Can't say I disagree. All right, you don't look so tough. You have guts. Perhaps you will see them soon. Ah! <laughs> 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 
you defeated me? Everyone's always surprised. So many years, and finally free. You are a mighty warrior. This is my spear. I no longer need it. Take it. May it aid you in your task. Now I can finally find the peace I have waited for. Farewell, Tonka. Men split in two, or two half men in one. What kind of a ghost are you? You look almost alive. That's because I am alive. Foolish spirit, that is not possible. An eternity I have been imprisoned here. I cannot die. Why not? It was my punishment 
for daring to rebel against Mara. What happened? I came up with a plan for killing her, but I could not do it alone. I went to see the other chieftains to ask for their help. But while I was away, my family was killed by a silverback. You couldn't have known. But if I had been there, I would have protected them. But I also knew it was my duty to try and stop Mara. I can understand how you felt. And now I must hunt that same silverback every day. But no matter what I do, the beast always returns. Is the silverback here? Yes. He is in a cave near here. That is Mara's punishment for me. How did you plan to kill Mara? With the weapons she herself had given us. She gave me the Titan Harpoon as reward for enslaving my own people. I fought as well as I could, but in the end, I was not strong enough to defeat her. I've heard how powerful she is. It's over, the Silverback's dead. This is true? My torment is over? Without you, I would have been imprisoned here forever. I'm glad I was here to help. Take the skull, with my thanks. You have earned it. I sense that my time has finally come. Good luck on your journey, living man. Mine has finally reached its end. I have the materials you need, and I brought the dead man's hat. Fine work. Let me see. I need just a few fibers from the hat. I have done it. The skull scepter is complete. Now, I need only to bind the spirit of the dead man to the scepter. Here, now, I too... I'm finally freed from my curse. Do what we could not. Kill Mara and save our world. My time has come. I am the last one who will set you a task. Your journey will not be easy, but I sense that you can do what we could not. Good luck, living man. You will be in my thoughts.
I've got the Skull Scepter. And you lifted the curse on the souls that helped you. You have done as I asked. Now I shall do the same. Tiwaz! Tiwaz Lokomoto! Shobo Nimbo Alkara! Steel Beard! and whale oil. You look like you've never seen a ship before. Mara, damn that devilish sea bitch. Steelbeard? I should have torn her black heart out when I had the chance. Give me your saber, lad, and I'll do it right now. Um, you know you're dead, right? Dead? Dead! I'll show you dead, lad! Even if I am dead, there's enough life in me to still knock the shit out of you! I'm sorry, but you are dead, and back as a ghost. Dead! The legendary Captain Steelbeard! Yes. No, I remember. This is her doing. That she-devil Mara! Come out, you hag monster, and face me! Mara's not here, you're too late. Gone! I should have guessed. Yes! Go hide in your sea hole, you bitch! I'll still see you one day for a reckoning! The battle's over, old man. She won. Never! Old Steel Beard would never die without a fight! You did fight, and you lost. Hi! Hi! No, I remember, damn you! I'm sorry. Not as sorry as I! So you remember? Ah! And I got nothing left to lose now. Give me your saber, lad, and I'll finish this thing right now! You already said that. I did? <sighs> Don't you remember what happened? Remember? Of course I remember. There was... Uh, and then... Too much rum, maybe. The old memory's not what it used to be. I remember you, though. The Chancer who brought my patty home. That's me. And, uh... We were on the Sword Coast together, chasing after Crow. Crow, that bastard. What is he doing on the Sword Coast? You gotta watch out for that one. A real piece of work he is! I'll bear that in mind. Something's not right here. I feel strange. What's wrong with me? There's no easy way to put this, so... You're dead. <laughs> They've counted me dead plenty of times and I'm still here! I need to know where you hid the Earth Amulet. Earth Amulet? Oh, yes, I remember. But why should I share that with you? Because I want to get revenge on Mara. Because she killed me. 
No, because I now carry your curse. Now come on and tell me where the damn thing is. Ah, let me think. Ah, yes. Garcia's treasure chest, that's where it is. The bloody fool, he didn't even notice. Always thought he was so clever, and not as clever as old Steelbeard. What if he found it? He won't. Nobody reckons on that trick. So where is Garcia's treasure? In a cave in Antigua, behind a large waterfall. Here's a map. And the password to get in is all hail Garcia. What? Always fancied himself, did Captain Garcia. Well, this is it. Time for me to go. Good luck, lad. And look after that daughter of mine. Did you find your answers? I don't know. I'd have liked more time with him. There may be a way. The natives have shared secrets with you. There is voodoo magic in you. I sense it. The Shaganumbi taught me a few things. You underestimate yourself. You are strong enough to use this scepter yourself. You mean I could call Steelbeard's spirit from the underworld, even when I'm out? Exactly. So you'd give me the Skull Scepter? Yes. Take it and use it wisely. Your friend is bound to the Scepter. He will appear when you use it. Let the power flow from you and into it. Can you teach me voodoo? What is it you want to know? Still too hot. Not ready yet. You know I can summon you and send you away, as I please. Send me away? What are you talking about? Send away Gregorius Emanuel Steelbeard, Terror of the Seven Seas? Never mind, I'll explain it to you some other time. <laughs> 